let me just say that I'm nervous, but we can do this, right? So um, I'll start with my favorite, speaking of my story, I want to tell you what happened. I mean, what was life uh, like, what happened and what is life today. And I have a perfect quote for, to, to describe my story and my, the reality of my program, um, of course, in the big book. And it is on page 191, and it's one of the stories. It's actually the story of um, Alcoholic Anonymous number three, Bill, who was visited by Bill and Bob in the hospital, and um, he became the, the third member of Alcoholics Anonymous. It's a wonderful story, of course, but then what really I like absolutely the most is on page 191, Bill is Bill W is visiting them and he speaks to the wife of Bill, the third Bill, in the kitchen. And here is what he says. So I'll read this. Bill looked across at my wife and said to her, Henrietta, the Lord has been so wonderful to me, curing me of this terrible disease, that I just want to keep talking about it and telling people. Then he continues, I thought, I think I have the answer. Bill was very, very grateful that he had been released from this terrible thing and he had given God the credit for having done it. And he's so grateful about it, he wants to tell other people about it. That sentence, the Lord has been so wonderful to me, curing me of this terrible disease that I just want to keep telling people about it, has been a sort of a golden text for me and for the AA program." End of quote. I get goosebumps reading this because if I have to summarize in one sentence what happened since I joined AA, that's precisely it. I just cannot stop talking about AA. Literally, I just cannot stop. I cannot shut up. My son is 30 years old, Chris. He lives in Sofia in Bulgaria. I'm Bulgarian. Nobody is perfect, but that's besides the point. Um, Chris says that it will take, if it takes more than five minutes after I meet somebody and I'm not talking about AA already, that's a record. Like, I mean, this will be really something to remember and he's absolutely right because it never takes more than that. So when I sobered up in 2011, I joined AA on July 6th, 2011 as part of my program. I was in um, uh, an outpatient in the uh, program of Credit Valley Addictions and Concurrent Disorder Center and they just said you have to go to AA. So it was really, I had an attendance sheet. Um, which is interesting because nine years I would go to a meeting every single day, right? She said, go to meeting, stay sober, and if you wake up sober the next morning, that's my sponsor talking, run and find somebody to tell them that it can be done. Because an, an alcoholic helping another alcoholic, in my mind there is absolutely nothing ordinary in the fact that we, Alkis, can actually go to bed sober. And by now, nine years later, I totally believe that in recovery, every single day is a holiday because there is absolutely nothing, nothing easy or ordinary about that. So why, how can I not tell that fact? So she was laughing and she said, okay, just be careful because you, but the thing is what happened is I could not, I could not stop telling this. So, and you have to imagine that I mean everywhere. So, if you happen to be waiting um, uh, at the bank with me, if you are in some sort of doctor's office waiting room, if you fly, oh, especially on flights, like over overseas, when I go to Sofia, so if I sit next to somebody, I mean, poor people. Uh, within few minutes, we have to start talking about this because this is the absolute best thing that has happened to me and I cannot really not talk about that. I teach German at UFT, so my term is over now. Um, 
and everything has had to be transferred online in Zoom calls like this. But during reading week, I went to Cuba, <laughs> which was actually the reason for that trip was to celebrate my um, divorce honeymoon. Okay, this needs more explanation, but let's just say that this is exactly what happened. And so the people in this resort, I mean, because there were no meetings <laughs> in Havana, so I couldn't really go, but in the restaurant and in, in um, everywhere, it would be always the case. We need carrying the message. I don't even know what, how to, to explain that, but I would tell this to everybody I meet. Why do I think that we have, every human has to, what we have now is a situation, I, I hope you agree that people truly, I mean, they really show their true, true colors, right? We live in a, in, a, in a situation where, thank God for the internet and that we can continue having our meetings because if, um, if there is God, I mean, nothing will happen to the internet. Um, these days I'm able to sit with, um, in meetings with my home group in Sofia, for instance, which is in Bulgaria, like who knew? This is just out of this world. Uh, I have to pinch myself how the reality changed. Because uh, in all these years that I would go to my meetings every single day, because I wouldn't give my sick brain the dilemma of, 